Chapter One The Tale of the Hundred Foot Douglas Fir Tree that's going to fall this morning before the wind comes up. As you can see, it has died completely. The green that you see is a tree directly behind it, and I will show you. That tree sits behind this tree. This tree is dead and still standing. Unfortunately, this tree sits very, very precariously close to the very edge of our house. That's not good. I need to make this tree fall the direction of those chains. The chains are interesting. As you can see, the tree has a slight lean to the east toward our house. The goal is to not make it fall on our house. The goal is to make it fall to the west. I have attached this chain and cinch to the tree to pull it that way. I have a chain attached to the tree which comes down and attaches to a cable. The cable is weighted by this big heavy 200 pound weight that came off the front of my tractor. The cable then continues and it follows all the way over to this tree over here where I have a chain wrapped around the base of the tree and cinched around the tree. The cable comes through the chain, which then follows and goes up this way so that I can attach it around this tree to the front of my tractor, which I have mounted the cable to the tractor. Thusly, I have the bucket lowered so that the teeth are gripping into the ground so that the tractor can't go forward. And the tractor is parked way back here, away from the tree, which is way over there. And our goal is to get the tree to follow this cable line that direction and fall that way. So, we'll, we'll see how this There you have out. it, folks. If I could have planned that out more perfectly, I don't know how the hell I could have. Look at that, it fell perfectly straight down the line, exactly where I wanted it to go, right into the lower driveway. Isn't that just amazing? All with my little tiny pooling Pro 18 inch. Ain't she a beauty? 42 cc's of nothing but raw, unadulterated horsepower. Look how big this stump is. This is the bar. That's how far I could reach through all the way around. As far as I could go, I had to cut it from all sides. As you could see, that was the last little piece holding it. And then she fell just like a dream. All 95 feet. That's the end of this tree saga. Now the hard part begins. Cutting it up, stacking it up, splitting it up. Here's a quick peek from the other side. How it fell. Perfectly in line. My granddad would be so proud of me right now. The end.